first leg of the six up here, race set number five with a $1.8 million jackpot going in. So an estimated dividend in the region of $5 million. It's a class four over the 16.50, headed by Glorious Lover, dropping into this class for the first time. All you know, winner first up. Oh, you just beaten by Faithful Trinity last time out in Canto Prepared. Breakthrough win, course and distance last time, beating Nunchucks. Uh, King Dragon, a beaten favourite, not beaten far though, by some streets somewhere. Just half a length was the uh, margin. Universal Go Go behind in Canto Prepared last time out. Daily Beauties, a course and distance uh, winner last season. Jumps off the inside gate and down to Alloy Star for mark of 44. Jumps from barrier two. He was stoned last after making the running behind Bulletproof last time. Charity Wings and Universal Go Go Mark have been up at Chung in the last month. And the speed is slow, so Universal Go Go is not going to have to go go very fast in front of Big Bang Bong and Fearless Fire. Villa Theon, Alloy Star, it's pretty much pairs all the way back, barring number six, Paul in Canto prepared. If he wants to go back to back, he's going to have to work to do it off the speed map. Uh, the first one is Villafon here, and he's going really nicely in his work here, as you can see. Uh, 800 metres for him. Just a couple of slow sectionals, but the horse does travel nice and comfortably and uh, works well here. So uh, he's definitely a chance, I think, from his barrier number four. And Kando Prepared, no, look how keen he is. He really wants to go a little faster. He's only a little chap in Kando Prepared, but gee, he won pretty impressively last time, beating Nunchucks, who's racing earlier in the card. So uh, he's definitely found form. He, First win from his 13 starts. And King Dragon, he's a nice big scopey horse, just a nice quiet workout for him. Another one that's been very consistent in his last three starts. Son of Savabil is a King Dragon, and uh, he moves nicely as well. He came up very short when the market's first opened. He's out to 2.1 now. Um, let's start off, though, with uh, all you know, Daily Beauty. Now, in Canto Prepared finishing fifth here, Mark. We will have a look at him winning in a second, but maybe all you know flashing from the back. Don't mind even all the big grander. 1650 suits. He's had two runs back from a spell. He beat Playwise first up, who has come out since and been beaten an eyelash in a race at Happy Valley. He drills right through on the rail here, Paul. Carries 130 pounds, but nothing wrong at all with his form. No, he's going well, isn't he? Both runs have both been pretty good, so he's definitely one of the chances in the races. OK, in Canada prepared off that effort, then came out and did this, uh, Paul, beating Universal Go Go, Big Bang Bong, and, and Kiram. Yeah, Kiram getting on a bit in age now, but look, uh, I thought it was a really nice run from Encanto Prepared. He came through the inside. He's got a little bit of an awkward draw on eight, but he drew nine here, so he went back. He just got to all the luck on the inside. He'll be looking for something similar as well and hit the line very strongly. He changed the jockey with Jay Maria not riding. Uh, Tony Pacone will ride on race day. Yeah, really good opportunity for Tony. He's only up five pounds for the win too, so not a whole lot. OK, here's uh, our favourite though, King Dragon, along with Villa Fionn. Mark. Villa Fionn's uh, pretty consistent and King Dragon in two starts this campaign, third, then second here. He is uh, indeed Villa Fionn with uh, two wins from 25 starts. He's drawn four, King Dragon has drawn seven. He's placed it both times over the 16.50 pool. He's come up favourite. Had his chance to run down some street somewhere here, but just couldn't quite nab the winner. Yeah, some street somewhere has been in some pretty good form, um, pretty consistent without winning. He did come out and win then, so I just think he met a really well-rated horse on that occasion. All right, has he got another one to bump into this time round? Because currently he's just about our even-money favourite. No, I don't think there is, so I think this is a little bit easier for him. So that's why I'm going to put him on top, uh, King Dragon. I think Villa Fion, who did finish off that race nicely, and when he ran fourth, he comes into barrier number four. He should get a nice run from my speed map. Uh, and Kato prepared. Uh, he'll need a similar run to last time, but it was a nice win from him. And I'm going to put Daily Beauty in with the lightish weight there. He should get uh, a nice run. He's got barrier number one, and he does like it here at Happy Valley. Seven, two, six, and nine. I think Richard Gibson might be in for a pretty good day. First travel day took now, all you know, and he's got chances later as well. The Greys, a winner and a second from his last two starts. He's actually down two pounds on that second behind Faithful Trinity. So three goes on top to beat number seven, King Dragon. He is the logical danger. In Kento, prepared full of confidence now from the win. If Universal Gogo -Go does get an easy lead, he'll give you a sight. Three, seven, six and eight. Yeah, all you know goes in for me as well, but in the search for some family, I came with Glorious Lover, who drops into this class for the first time.